Welcome everybody to Safe Option Strategies presentation of the safest way to profit in today's markets. My name is Jeffrey Dunyon. I am the owner and founder of Safe Option Strategies. And whether you're with us live right now or whether you're listening to a recording of this, either way, I greatly appreciate you taking a little bit of your time and taking time away from other things you could be doing right now uh, and watching this presentation. I want to show you some things in the next 45 minutes or so. I'll try really hard to keep this presentation to around 45 minutes or less, uh, but I want to show you some things that I'm absolutely convinced, I know for a fact, can change the way you approach the stock market. It can change the way you you manage your risk. It can change the way you profit. It can change the time you spend. And every one of these changes is a positive thing. It will change it for the better. It will make what you're doing with your finances, with your income, with your lifestyle, and with your trading easier and more effective. And I know that for a fact because I have been doing it myself for nearly 20 years. I've been teaching it to people for nearly 15 years now and it works. What I'm going to show you simply works. Now, I, I don't want to give a big lengthy introduction. I sometimes, I, I do a new recording of this presentation every two or three weeks, and sometimes I get into too lengthy in introduction, but, but I will say this. I, I do need to make sure I communicate this to everyone that's listening. Um, you see a lot of stuff and you see a lot of garbage out there. Probably the email that you received uh, that got you to sign up for this presentation live or, or the email that you received that directed you to the recording of this presentation, it's probably one of, of 10 or 20 or 30 that you see every single day. And I'm not sure what made you click on this one this time. I know I can see the, the emails of the people that are with us live right now. And I know at least a handful of you uh, have watched this free presentation multiple times. Um, maybe those, maybe if you're listening to this as a recording, you've, you've watched it a few times before. Uh, and that's fine. You, you can come back and watch this again as many times as you want. But look, I, I know I know the deal. I, I know you get tons of stuff. I get bombarded every day with with offers for you know the the magic to the stock market you know how to how to turn a thousand dollars into a million dollars um lately there's these youtube videos going around uh you you click on anything on youtube that's finance related and you get this two minute commercial at the beginning of it and, and this guy is jet setting around the world this is just one of them that i've seen this guy is jet setting around the world and telling you about how he took a few thousand dollars and turned it into a couple of million dollars and he's going to show you exactly how to do it and and i'm telling you folks and i know some of you think this is the case with me as well but i'm telling you most of it 99 percent of it is pure crap and I'm sorry if, if saying it that way, I'm not meaning to offend anybody, uh, if that sounds like kind of a, a crude way of saying it, but most of what you're seeing out there is complete and total garbage. And the reason it is complete and total garbage is because it cannot be duplicated. It is not, you cannot teach someone how to fall backwards into luck in the stock market. You cannot teach someone how to be in exactly the right place at exactly the right time and have the perfect storm happen every single time. And some of these people who have, and, and there might be some truth in the fact that they've taken a couple thousand dollars and turned it into a million dollars or $2 million or whatever. There may be some truth in that. What is completely untrue is that they can teach someone else how to do it because they can never, ever, ever under any circumstances, can they duplicate exactly what happened to them. They got lucky and, and, and I'm not saying they didn't do some work. I'm not saying they didn't study. I'm not saying they didn't know how some things uh, operated and how some things worked in the market. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that, but I'm saying they got lucky with these perfect circumstances and, they, and you can't teach that. What we are doing at Safe Options, Safe Options Strategies is very different in a couple of significant ways. Number one, everything we're doing can be duplicated and it works no matter what the markets do. That's, that's the real key to what I'm going to show you in the next 45 minutes. What we are doing, anyone can duplicate because we're not getting lucky. We're, we're not, we're not, you know, firing a magic bullet. We're not, we're not catching a falling knife. We're not, 
we're, we're not relying on the perfect storm every time we get into a trade or every time we get out of a trade circumstances don't have to be perfect that that's number one number two uh, no matter what the markets do no matter what the markets throw at you no matter what a stock does in in price no matter what unexpected news happens to change the direction that everything is going just today just today, while I, while I'm now, some of you are watching this, and it's been a week or it's been two weeks. But just today, while I'm doing this presentation live, and those of you that are on with me live right now, you know this: the the markets have already been way up today, and they've already been down in negative territory. Some some stocks today have already seen a swing of 15% to the upside and to the downside already today, just in a single trading day. No matter what happens. What I'm about to show you will work and it will work effectively. And that's the difference. And folks, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're interested in a get rich quick program, this is not it. I don't mean to scare you away. I, I don't want you. I, I don't want, it may have been just a fluke. It may have been just uh, some crazy, some crazy coincidence. But I said that and I saw one guy log off. <laughs> so maybe, maybe he was on the, maybe he just had a computer issue, but maybe he was on here looking for a get rich quick thing. This is not a get rich quick thing. This is a way to steadily and consistently increase the size of your portfolio, grow your investments and do it with little or no risk. I've got a six month chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average on here. And I got to show you this before we dive too deep into the stuff we're going to cover. In, in the last eight, seven, eight weeks, we saw the Dow go from near record highs. We were close right here. We saw a sell off that almost put us into correction territory. OK, we had definite pullback territory. We almost went down into correction territory. And then in half that amount, in half the time it took us to see it all go away in May, we saw all of it and more come back in the first three weeks of June. Now, this is fantastic. Everyone loves this and nobody loves this or very few people do. And even though we are back to above, here, here's, here's what so many people experience. Even though we're back higher than we were seven, eight weeks ago, Here's what happens to a lot of people. We start to slide and some people sell right here and they've, and they've booked that loss. That loss is a, it's a permanent loss now. Some people see us sort of setting up some support right there and they stick with it and they hold and then they see it falling again and they sell right here. And other people get down here and they say, oh, the bottom is falling out. I, I've, I've suffered through five, eight, 10% loss. I've got to get out and they get out right here. And then they see a couple of updates and they say, ah, I don't know if we're going to cross above 25. This is the Dow Jones, by the way. I don't know if we're going to cross above 25,500. So they hesitate and they wait. And a few people get in here. And because they were spooked right here, they see this little upward movement. But that first day that it gives some back, they bail out. They have a little bit of profit right there. And then they're a little bit skeptical about this. And maybe they get back in when they start crossing over that next level of resistance. And they lost a lot right here. Whoops. They lost a lot right here and they only got a little bit back here and a little bit back right here. And even though here and here's the real crux of this, and this is so many people that trade their own money, experience this and go through this over and over again. And this is just the most recent example. They're higher right now today than they were seven weeks ago when this sell off, when, when the sell off in May began, we're up higher than we were right now today. And they've lost money. They're down five, six, seven percent. And it is frustrating. It, it is so frustrating. And that's what so many people go through. And if you can fix that, I, I am absolutely convinced through all the time that I have done this, through all the, the hundreds and thousands of people that I have taught over the years. I know for a fact that, that there are many people who know how to profit when the market stays steadily bullish. There are a handful of people who know how to produce steady profits when the markets go bearish. Very few people, if any, know what to do when it swings back and forth. And that's what kills them. That's, that's what wipes them out. Here's what we're going to cover in this presentation. 
how to trade with little and sometimes zero risk. There is a there is a method that we that we use a lot at Safe Option Strategies called collar trading. I personally call it dynamic collar trading. Uh, whatever anyone else tells you, that is a phrase that I have coined. Uh, I personally call it dynamic collar trading, and it is a way to have all your money invested in the market and never be exposed to any significant risk. I'm going to show you a preview of how to do that. I'm going to show you for, for people who collar trading involves owning some stock and, and some people don't want to own stock. No matter what I show them, no matter what I tell them, they think I've got a small portfolio. I'm trading with three or four or $5,000. I can't tie that up in stock ownership. It just doesn't work for me. I've got to use options to leverage that, that, you know, potential gain with only a little bit of an investment. Okay, that's fine. For those of you who, and I'm going to show you why you may want to consider the stock anyways, but for those of you who want to trade options only, uh, I'm going to show you the correct way to adjust trades. Now, I say the correct way because adjusting trades has become a buzz phrase over the last decade. I know dozens of companies now who claim to teach trade adjustments. And the reality is they've never really put into long-term practical application the process of trade adjustments, and they don't know how to do it consistently and how to do it correctly. And that's that's another large focus that we have at Safe Option Strategies is how to adjust trades. For those individuals who have reached a point in their trading where they've built up some funds now, uh, whether whether they're in early retirement or they want to get out of a job or they just need to, maybe their spouse or their partner has lost a job and, and they're just looking for a way to supplement and they want some steady, consistent income from their portfolio, I'm going to show you how to do that as well with far, far less risk than what most people are doing. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is what it will cost you to not know how to do this stuff. And that's the real key. It, it, there is such a price people pay when they try to figure out the market and try to figure out what's going to happen next. And they really don't have the, the proper information, the proper training to do that. So let's let's dive in and get right into this. Uh, is there any such thing as zero risk trades? You you hear if, if you've ever joined someone's education program, if you've ever gone through some basic stock market or option training, uh, even the TV commercials that you see and the radio commercials that you hear uh, that are promoting some profit. Uh, product. They they all say the same thing or something similar. They say all trading comes with risk. Never invest money that you can't afford to lose. Well, who can afford to lose money? I mean, honestly, who can afford to lose money? I I I always get a smile on my face, kind of a sarcastic smile on my face when I hear these people say all trading comes with risk and don't ever invest money you can't afford to lose. Well, then what are you supposed to do then? I mean, really, what are you supposed to do? No one can afford to lose their money. Uh, there is there is something that exists that will allow you to trade for periods of time with zero risk and for long periods of time with very, very little risk and still have great profit potential. And and it's it's collar trading, folks. And 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 I know um, people for those of you that are listening and you understand a little bit about collar trading. Uh, I know for certain that you're aware that, that that collar trading involves owning some stock and selling short calls and buying long puts. And even though there's low risk, most people think there's very low profit involved. And a lot of people are turned off by the idea of owning the stock. Um, the people who trade options only do it for the leverage and they don't want to own the stock. But I, I ask people this question all the time. And, and if you've heard one of my presentations, you've heard me uh, use this little example. I ask people all the time, what if I could show you just one thing to do different that would drastically improve your trading results? Guaranteed. Do one thing different than you've done before that will absolutely guarantee you get better results than you've ever got. Now, it's, it's a reflexive answer to say, yes, of course I would do that. I would absolutely do that. And then I say, okay, I'm going to teach you the collar trade. And we start off with owning stock. And they say, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, I don't want to own stock. Now, now think about that. Think, think about how when, when, you're, when you're not in the midst of answering that question, 
is, isn't it easy to see the illogic of that? Isn't it easy to see how ridiculous it is that we automatically say, yes, if you'll show me one thing I can do different, I will absolutely do it because I want to be more consistent in my trading. I want to be more profitable. I want to have less risk. Absolutely, I'll do it. Okay, let me show you how this trade works. We own stock. Whoa, I don't want to own the stock. Okay, so you really don't want to do something different that will give you better results. You just say you do. And like I said, when you're not the one answering the question, it's easy to see the, the illogic of that whole thing, but it happens all the time. Collar trading involves owning stock. We use a long put option exactly the way you use an insurance policy on your car or your house or, or if you have uh, other, other valuable property like artwork or jewelry. The same way you insure those, you can insure a stock with a long put option. I'm going to show you in a second how that works. Then you get someone else to pay for the insurance for part or all of that insurance through a short call, what a lot of you know is a covered call, very simple strategy. And you can set up collar trades for very little or zero risk. Let me give you an example. Uh, I, I left this in from a few weeks ago. I did, I did this presentation live a few weeks ago before I went on vacation. And uh, I'll just use the same example. A few weeks ago, we were looking, and, and Micron, by the way, is trading very, very close to this price right now. You could have bought shares of Micron for 33.23 at the time. And you could have bought a July expiration long put option at a 34 strike price for $2.64. That's your insurance policy. And then you could do a covered call or just a, a simply a short call going out to October, 37 strike price. That's going to pay 238. That's I always look at that as remember back in high school when you when you got your first car, you got your first opportunity to drive a car. Maybe it was your parents' car that you had to drive for a little while. You got the benefit of the automobile and you had to have insurance but mom and dad paid for the insurance. That's the way I look at the covered call. Someone else is paying for the insurance. Now, from, from the time that trade was set up until the July expiration of those long puts, there is zero risk in that trade because no matter how far down Micron goes, and by the way, Micron has their earnings report coming up early next week. If Micron absolutely blew it on their earnings report and that stock tanked and it went down, it wasn't that long ago, Micron was down to $27, $28 a share. If, if it went down that far, if it went down to $5 a share, you have the right through this long put option to sell your stock at $34 a share. You can't lose any money. You've offset most of the cost of that insurance by someone else paying for it. And if Micron hits some really good earnings news, if they really hit a home run on their earnings next week and the stock went skyrocketing up, there is a chance that it would be called away from you at $37 a share. But if it was, you'd make more than a 10% profit. This is a zero risk trade that could net you 10%. Now, you gotta know what to do if you get to July, and you haven't cashed out with your 10% and maybe the stock is still falling and you haven't lost any money, but you certainly haven't made any and you got to know how to adjust the trade. And what about if the long put option expires and you still have that short call option out there? Folks, I wish there was time in this presentation to go over all that. What I can tell you is we teach all of that. We teach everything you need to know to make the proper adjustments to these trades. In fact, I'm going to give you an example of that in just a second. Because we have that long put strike price near the cost of the trade, we've got an asset, we've got that asset insured, and we can sleep in. I, I, could, I could miss the earnings report on Micron. I could own 1,000 shares of Micron. I could own 10,000 shares of Micron. I could miss the earnings report and not lose a wink of sleep worried about what it might do. Now, this is basically how that long put works. You buy, let's say you go out and buy a share of stock at $100 and, uh, and then you go out and buy the long put. And maybe you spend two or three or four or five dollars. The example we were using two and a half bucks for the long put option. And so your average cost per share is, is the cost of the stock plus the cost of the long put. If the stock were to drop, and I've used kind of an extreme example, a stock going from $100 down to $50, the long put option would go up in value 
and it will go up in value at least as much as the stock goes down in, vol in, in value once it's lower than the strike price of the long put. So the only real loss that you would experience, the only loss you would experience in this scenario is the cost of your insurance. And, that, and because that short call paid for the insurance, you haven't lost that. That's how we create a zero risk trade. Stock value goes down, option value goes way up, one has offset the other, we don't lose any money, okay? Uh, when was this? Probably two months ago, I'm thinking. We set up a trade for our students. Every one of, every one of our students at Safe Option Strategy we, we showed them exactly how to set up this trade if they wanted to set up this trade. We did something a little bit different. We got a little bit out of the box. We got some stock in mind. Look, Micron was $10 a share higher at the time than it is right now. We got the stock. We got the insurance policy. We got someone else to pay for it. We basically set up a trade that had about $0.09 cents per share of risk. And we had some nice profit potential if we were to get called out on that trade. We still had a nice profit. Now, we went a little out of the box. We got 500 shares of the stock and eight long put contracts and then just the five short call contracts. We, we went a little out of the box. We did it a little bit different than the norm. I want to show you what's happened since then. And by the way, the the... I know those of you that are on with me live right now, you already know this. If you're listening to a recording, you may not know this, but I'm doing this live on this date. So I actually set this up 57 days ago, about two, about two months ago. Okay. Today is June 21st. That's the day I'm recording this live. So options are going to expire. Here's what's happened since then. Stock has gone down to $33.48 a share. Our long puts are now worth $9.60 a share. Our short calls only are worth 32. That's good for a short call. You want to start it high and have it go lower. Our stock is down $9.68 a share from where we got in. On 500 shares, we're down almost $5,000. Our long puts are up $7 a share, a little over $7 a share. And because we did 800 shares, eight contracts, 800 shares of those, we're up $5,600 on our long puts. Our short calls have increased in their value. They, they've decreased, well, let me, let me, they've increased in their profit. Through a decrease in value, they've increased in profit. And we're profitable $2.27 on our short calls. The net result of all of this right here is that if we exit this trade today, we're up almost $2,000 on our original investment on a stock that is down 22% from where we got in. Eight weeks ago, we jumped into this trade and we're down 22% from where we were eight weeks ago on the value of the stock. And we're looking at a trade that's almost 10% profitable. This is what we teach people how to do. Now, there's an, there's an added dimension to it. There's an added step to it. We don't generally stop right there. 10% is a great profit on an eight-week trade that might have a pretty good chunk of money invested in it. If you'd have done that exact same trade with us, it, it's about a $22,000 trade. And people that have the smaller portfolios, and we're not and we're not – Trust me, folks, if you've got a smaller size portfolio, you can still do most of what we do. You're just going to do it with a different stock. You're going to do it with something like Ford that only costs $10 a share instead of $43 a share. You're going to do it with, with you know, companies that are, that are more affordable, but you can still do this. This is just the example that I chose to use. But 10%, that's great. I'm not happy with 10%, not in a long shot. What we do now and this is why I call it dynamic collar trading, is going back to that same example. When that stock goes, everybody's heard of cost averaging. Is any, for those of you that are with me live, have any of you not heard of cost averaging? Do you not, are you not aware of what cost averaging is? Okay, we've got one person that says they think, that, okay, I'll, I'll explain really quickly. Cost averaging is simply this. You buy a stock at $100 a share. Let's say the stock drops to $80 a share. And so 
you buy another share right here. So you bought a share right here, you buy another share right here. Let's say it keeps going down to 60 and you buy a share right here. So you've got one stock, one one share of stock at $100, one share of, whoops, one share. <laughs> I'm gonna, I need to fix that. Let's just reverse that. One share of stock at $80 and one share of stock at $60. So you've basically got $240 wrapped up into three shares of stock. Your average price per share is $80. So three shares, average price of $80. Now you did all of that so that if the stock goes back up, it doesn't have to get all the way back up to 100 for you to be profitable. At 80, you're back to a break even. If it gets back up to 100, you've got a nice profit. The challenge is this. Let, let's say you were doing this times 10 shares or 100 shares. You're starting out with a $10,000 investment, and when you get here, you got to, you've got to have another $80,000. When you get to here, you've got to have another $60,000. The problem that most people run into with cost averaging is they run out of money. At some point in time, if that stock is not rebounding in a really strong way, you start running out of money to buy more shares. We do it very different at Safe Option Strategies. With this dynamic collar trading, when that stock goes down, we sell our long put. Remember, it's gone up in value, almost equal to what the stock has gone down in value, you know, minus the cost of it. We sell that long put, and that's the money we use to add our next shares. And so instead of having to come up, if we're doing this with, with 1,000 shares, and we put $10,000 into it, actually 1,000 shares would be $100,000 into it right there. We don't have to come up with another $50,000 right here. It came to us with the long put, and now we can turn around and spend it. So the net money in, money out right here is a wash, and now we've got twice the number of shares, but we have not increased our original investment. And what that means is, is that minus the cost of the long put, if the stock goes back up, we're, we're profitable. If it only gets halfway back to where it was, we're 50% profitable. If it gets all the way back to where it was, we're 100% profitable. The most important thing is we never added to our original investment. We didn't have to come up with more money. I'm sticking with Micron as an example. This is just one example. We do this with, with dozens of stocks. Back in March of last year, so we're talking about, what, a, a year and maybe three months ago, four months ago? Back in March of last year, we we sent out an alert to all of our students, and we said, we're going to set up a trade in Micron, anybody that wants to get in with us. If you look at this chart of Micron, this 18-month chart of Micron, we're down a long ways from where we got in. These would be the two worst spots to get into Micron over the past 18 months. The absolute two worst places to get into Micron. We actually jumped in at one of the worst places to get into Micron. But in April, we sold those long puts and we added 100 shares. In May, we made a small adjustment just by rolling things out. I told you, I'd, I'd give you some examples, but I, it's hard to take the time to teach how to do this. But this is what we teach at Safe Option Strategies. We made an adjustment to our trade. In August, we added another 100 shares to the trade. All the while, we're not increasing our investment. In September, we add another 100 shares to the trade. In November, we made an adjustment to the long put options. In January, we added another 100 shares to the position. We also made another adjustment with new short calls because we had some expire. In February, we roll our long puts and our short calls. What I did not include in this is that about, what was it, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we added 200 more shares. We're up to 1,000 shares now. My, and, and, and as of the time, I, I haven't updated this in the last month and a half since we went down and came back up a little bit because we're actually down now at around 33 and some change. As of the time of this, on a stock that was down 16%, we were up over 14%. These are some of the other collar trades we have been in for the past couple of years. We're up 84% on Apple. 
We've only been in, in advanced micro devices since the beginning of the year and we're up 21%. We only got into Ford just ahead of its last earnings and we're up about 4%. We, we've been back and forth on First Solar and up 50%. We just got into Monster a few months ago. We're up 12% already. Our Micron trade is up about 14% right now. Nike, we're up almost 80%. Under Armour, we're up over 75%. Actually, we're up to almost 80%. I forgot to change that. As of today's pricing, we're almost up to 80 on that one. More important than the profit on these. Now, this, this is not get rich quick stuff, folks. This has been over the last year and a half, you know, six months. I think four months ago, three months ago was the was the newest trade. No, actually, Ford, we just got into a couple months ago. So the the worst one of these trades we've only been in for four months and the best one of these trades we've been in for a couple years it's not a get rich quick thing but but tell me right now if you're on live with me or or if you're listening to a recording you're not really answering to me you're kind of answering to yourself are are you up 78 80 percent 85 percent do you have that kind of profit over the last couple of years maybe you do more important than any of the profit is that we were never exposed to any significant risk on these trades. And that is huge. Folks, there's never, th this is what it, I told you, a lot of what you listen to in these kind of presentations is garbage. It's, it's garbage because it doesn't work in every market condition. Think of what has happened over the last couple of years. We have had incredibly bullish runs. We've had strong bearish runs. Just look at the pullback that we had in the fourth quarter of last year. The worst fourth quarter, I think, in what was it, over a decade, I think, and the worst December in the history of the U.S. stock market, in the history of the market. That's older than any of you listening to this presentation. It's way older than me in the history of the U.S. stock market. It is the worst December we have ever had. And I think I remember hearing at one point in time, it was the worst fourth quarter since the Great Depression in the stock markets. I mean, look, we, we've had periods of, of flat back and forth volatile markets. We've had periods of strong upward growth. Just look at these last three weeks. It's an incredible rebound we've had these last three weeks. Every single thing the market could throw at us, we've seen just in the last couple of years. And that's what a lot of this other stuff simply cannot do. And, and one of the reasons I keep saying that is because I, I do surveys once in a while. And when people have conversations with me on the phone or if, if they end up joining our program, I, I ask them questions. I ask them questions about what they've done previously. I think somewhere in the neighborhood of 60% of everyone who ever listens to this presentation has probably bought another program in the past. And, and you're frustrated and you're disappointed. And for whatever reason, you decided to listen to this one. But part of you, I know part of you is saying, I'm not going to get sucked into something else. Now, I'm showing you why and how this works and why and how it works so consistently. All right, we got to keep moving on. For those people that want to spread trade only, if you only want to do option, or I should say option only trades, maybe you're new to spread trading, but it's a it's a critical part of option trading because it's way less risk than, than directional options, right? You've got to learn how to adjust trades. And, and let me be a little more specific than that. You've got to learn how to go into trades knowing in advance exactly to the letter what your backup plan will be. What are you going to do if the trade doesn't go the way you want it to go? Every time we get into a trade, we have an expectation. We, we do our due diligence. We, we look at charts. We listen to experts. We read news that's going on. We look at the fundamentals of the company. We, we Maybe we're looking at some very technical indicators, studying candlesticks, uh, looking at levels of support and resistance, looking at volume, looking at all these different indicators. We do our homework and we have an expectation of what the stock is going to do. Problem is, stocks don't always behave the way we want them to. Other people don't do what we expect them to do. We think a stock is going to go one way and there's at least a couple other directions it can go. Sometimes people say, well, the stock's going to go up or down, so I've got a 50-50 chance of being right. No, you have less than a 33% chance of being right. Because when you get into a trade with a certain expectation, 
your expectation is generally, generally speaking, and this is very general, your expectation is going to be up, down, or sideways on that stock. And the reality is it could go up, but not as fast as you want. It could go up maybe too fast. There are some trades where it could go up too fast. It could go flat. It could go down, but just a little bit down. It could go down really strong. At best, when you enter a trade, you've got a 33% chance of getting it right. The, the, the whole concept of adjusting trades is having a backup plan. Let me go back one slide here. Having a backup plan and knowing what to do when the unexpected happens. I'm telling you right now, no one knew in March of this year, this just goes back a few months ago, no one knew in March of this year that a second airliner, a second Boeing, anyone notice this was Boeing we were looking at? No one knew in early March that a second Boeing 737 MAX jet was going to crash and kill almost 200 people. And that the cause of that crash was going to be, if not identical, very closely related to the cause of a crash four months earlier of the same plane, the same style aircraft. No one expected Boeing after hitting a new all-time high up over $440 a share at the end of February would be trading. And by the way, Boeing has come all the way down. I, I have an, I need to update this. I need to update this shot. This was at the end of March. At 380, Boeing was still doing quite well. They've been down to $300 a share since. No one knew that Boeing would go from 440 to 300. But a lot of people at 440 thought Boeing was still on a move up, thought this was an unstoppable stock, thought it was going to be $500 a share soon, $600 a share soon. Without an adjustment strategy to account for that, you'd have gotten creamed, especially trading options only. I hear this all the time from people, three out of four, four out of five trades that they place are going exactly the way they want. But the one that is going against them, whether it's one out of four, one out of five, one out of 10, that one that's going against them is costing them all their profits. Too often we think we know what's gonna happen and we're not prepared for what we don't think is gonna happen. We're not, we're not finding that perfect storm. We're the opposite of it. Instead of being at the right place at the right time, which is really hard to teach people, it's impossible to teach. Instead of that, we're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And they don't set up trades that can be adjusted. And it's, I, my definition of adjusting a trade is simply this. When we roll one or more of our options in a spread trade or a collar trade, or when we add a new option to an existing trade, such that that roll or addition of the option changes the expectation. In other words, a simpler way of saying that is we change our trade to match the new direction of the stock. And the process, we change our target break even or our target profit in the trade. Now, that's a simple concept. Doing it is not simple. I'm aware of at least six or seven different companies, and there's probably more like a couple of dozen that claim to teach trade adjusting. And I have looked very close at a couple of these companies. And I'm telling you right now, folks, they do not know what they're doing with trade adjustments because one of the biggest keys in trade adjusting is setting up the right trade and setting up a trade that can be adjusted. It does you no good whatsoever to have all the knowledge in the world on how to fix a car jump in that car and head out on a road trip, get in the middle of nowhere and have the car break down and you were unprepared because you didn't stick a toolbox in the car. You had the knowledge. You just didn't set up the trip the right way. You, you simply did not set up your trip the right way. You know, some people understand the basic concept of adjusting a trade, but they're not setting up the right trades. They're not pre-planning that adjustment strategy. They get into trouble over and over again because they do trade after trade after trade and they, and they reinvest their profit from this trade into what they started with. So the next trade starts out a little bit more and they repeat that process down here and they repeat it down here. And then one out of four trades goes against them and they're suffering a big loss. They're down big time. When they know how to do it with trade adjustments, it might only be 
one out of four trades or or maybe half the trades are actually set up a little bit different, targeting a little bit smaller return or having a little bit higher probability. But the fact that they're setting up the right trade with the right pre-planned adjustment strategy means a major, major difference in the results. Let me go back. Let me go back and leave that on there for just a second. On these exact same four trades, with one of the four set up a little bit different than the others, and with all of them set up in a way that they could be adjusted if they went against you, look at the difference. What what did I <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to emphasize this anymore. And again, over the course of the last couple of just look at the last couple of years. You don't even have to go back and look a decade. You don't have to go back and look at the entire 15 years that we've been teaching this to people. Just look at the last year. In fact, look at the last eight months. And we've had every kind of market condition you can think of. And this works and it works all the time. Because we're not trying to teach you how to catch lightning in a bottle and be lucky. Okay, people love cash flow trades. A couple of this is this this again. This is another one that goes back a few weeks ago uh, to the last time I did this live version. Um, these are all three examples of bull put spreads. People love people that get into cash flow trading. Most of them do it with credit spreads, okay? If, if, you're, if you have bought someone's program, if you study someone or follow someone and what you're studying and what you're following is cash flow strategies, you're probably using credit spreads. There may be some exceptions, but I'm guessing that's what you're doing. That example I gave just a minute ago about three out of four trades going your way and the one that's going against you is wiping out all your prob all, all your profits. Do you know that example applies more to credit spreads than anything else? Now, let me be really clear here. I use credit spreads sometimes. I'm not opposed to credit spreads. What I am very opposed to is unnecessary risk in trades that cannot be adjusted. And if you want to create consistent cash flow in your portfolio, you need to give us some consideration to doing some things different. Let's go back to that question I asked. If I could show you one thing to do different that would dramatically change for the better the results you're getting, would you do it? And most people say, yes, of course I would do it. And then I say, what if you took those same four trades, same companies, same expiration dates, same strike prices, and instead of using bull put spreads, you used an in-the-money debit spread that in most cases gave you a similar return, and if not similar, close enough that you're still getting a solid return. Do you know what the big difference is? If suddenly one of those stocks turned and went against you, it is like 20, 30, 40 times easier to adjust an in-the-money debit spread than a credit spread. And this is, this is what I hear from people all the time. Yeah, but this one, I'm getting paid to be in this trade, and I'm having to spend money to be in this trade. I don't want to spend money to be in a trade. I want to get paid. You know what? Now, I'm not I'm not trying to pick on anyone. I'm not trying to beat anyone up. If if you're thinking that right now, please don't take offense to what I'm going to say to you right now, but you are completely 100% missing how these trades work. This is all you need to look at. If you really think that it's better to get paid to be in a credit spread than to spend money to be in a debit spread, I am willing to bet that you do not understand the simple concept of the risk that is associated with credit spreads. You really don't get it. Now, I, I listen, you might be mad at me when I'm saying that, and you might be saying, this guy is insulting me. I'm never going to do anything with this program. That's fine. That, that Look, if, if that's what's going through your mind right now and you're not able to get over that in a, in a few seconds, I don't want you in my program. I really don't. If, if you really but, – but 
look, there's again, there's not time in a presentation like this to go into the kind of detail I would like to go in. But this is, once again, this is just one example. I use these kind of spreads sometimes, and they're effective, and I profit from them. But if I can get the same or very similar return using an in-the-money debit spread instead of a credit spread, I will show you how the exact same reward, the exact same risk, the exact same trend, the same amount of time in the trade, Everything on it works exactly the same. The difference is one can be adjusted, one can't. And it's more critical for cash flow strategies than anything else we do. And if you don't believe what I'm telling you, just look. The, these are all, the, these, I've only gone back. I, I, I'm not going to go back to day one, but nothing is different between the time we started safe option strategies and right now today. I'm just showing you the last five or six years. These are the kind of results we're getting. We introduced the cash flow system just a couple of years ago. It's been phenomenal. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Look at the results that Safe Option, and now everybody, I get calls all the time. I'm going to explain this so that you don't have to call about it. If you had gotten into these trades at the beginning of 2013, you would have looked at about a 15% profit on the new collar trades. If you had been in these trades prior to 2013, the results were about 63%. If you had just entered into the program at the beginning of 2014, you'd have seen a nice return on collar trades, but the people who were in longer saw a bigger profit. Okay, the two different columns under collar trades are if it was only one year or if they had been in since the start of that collar trade. A lot of our collar trades have been going for more than just a year. Are, are you outperforming the markets right now? This isn't get rich quick stuff. It's It takes a little bit of work, it takes a little bit of time, but it works no matter what the markets are doing. It works no matter what a stock is doing. This is a very recent story. This is, and I, this is, this is incredible to me. This is why you need to seriously consider in the last minute or two of the pre, and I'm almost done, folks. I'm almost done with the presentation. Don't log off before I show you how to take advantage of what we're teaching here. Please don't log off before that. I'm not begging you. I'm not pleading with you. I'm just saying you're going to miss the best part of the presentation if, if you log out before the end of it. I'll be quick. The, the last eight or so weeks has been really trying for investors. This is the same chart I had at the very beginning of the presentation. Even though we're up higher right now than we were before the May sell-off, a lot of people lost enough right here and they lost enough right here and they only got a little bit of this back and they only got a little bit of this back. And even though we're at a higher level right now, they're still at a negative in their portfolio. 10 weeks ago, a student joined our program and, and he, he, no one is required to share this with me. No one has to tell me this information, but he had about $65,000 in his portfolio. He had it spread out in about six different stocks that he owned, six different companies that he had stocks in, and he had a number of option only trades separate from those stock trades. Okay, that's, the, that's when he got in, that little blue line, I, blue vertical line I just put there. Let me let me erase my scribble marks so you can see this. Okay. Through the month of May, when we went into correction territory and had a pullback of almost 10%, if he had not joined our program and immediately got the help he needed for setting up his trades and collars and changing some of his option trades into trades that could be adjusted, he would have been down 17% in the stocks that he owned. And if he had stayed in the option trades he was in prior to getting into our program, he would have lost about 70% on those spread trade positions. His overall portfolio would have taken a hit of nearly 50% if he had just stayed in the way he was. Even though the markets only pulled back 10%, he was in some higher risk trades and he was in some stocks that took a bigger beating than just the 10% the market went down. 
instead of his portfolio taking almost a 30% hit, every option only trade that he was in, we helped him either adjust them at the time or create a slightly different trade that could be adjusted. And every single one of them without exception, he profited on through the month of May. His stock positions got set up as collar trades and he did not lose a penny on them. Now, that alone, what he saved right there was worth 10, 15 times the cost that he paid to get in our education. As the market rebounded over these past few weeks, and it rebounded strong, he is up 15% on the entire portfolio. He didn't stress out at all during this period of time. He was able to leverage more shares into a couple of his collar trade positions. He's had several more spread trade positions that have done really well. And even though most people, if you just sat and suffered through this and watched it come back up in stocks only, you'd be up from right here, from this day right here, you'd be up about 2%, maybe three. He's up five times that much. It's only been with us about 10 weeks. How much is it worth to you to know you won't lose money anymore? What is it worth to you? Let, let's say hypothetically for just one moment, and I know, I know this is not the case, but let's say hypothetically nothing I could ever teach you at Safe Option Strategies would help you make more money on your winning trades. Okay, think about the trades that you've won on. And think about the trades that you've lost on. And on those winning trades, what if I could never show you how to do better with those ones? But what if I could show you how to wipe out every single trade you've lost money on? What if I could just show you how to get back the money that you've lost on trades? What does that become worth to you? I know for people who have bought other education programs, that's a hard decision to make. Do I really want to spend money and, and do something again? Well, I think you'll find us to be incredibly different. You have all heard feed a man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish and you feed him for life. I love that saying. Our goal at Safe Option Strategies is to teach you how to fish. That is our goal. I want to teach you how to do this and how to get good at it and how to get so good at it that you want to teach it to other people. Please don't go into competition with me on it, but if you get so good at this, that you can teach it, I've got a job for you. I don't know if you want a job. By that time, you might be profitable enough. You don't want a job. I absolutely believe in this, but I've always felt like there was one critical thing missing in this saying. What happens if you starve in the process of learning how to fish? I've got two really good friends. One is a brother-in-law. One is just a good uh, lifelong friend of mine. They are both avid fishermen. They can cast a line into a spot in the lake or a spot in the river or in the ocean, and they know just the right tension they need on that line, and they know just when to set the hook, and they know what and, – and they've tried to teach me how to fish, and I'm getting better. I don't do it a lot, so I, I haven't gotten real good at it, but I, I'm getting better. But I'm telling you right now, if if we went out into the wilderness and all of a sudden, if I was with either one of them, and we got cut off from civilization and all we had was fishing rods and reels and maybe a little bit of bait. If, if I had to survive on what I caught, I would starve to death before I got good enough to feed myself. These two friends of mine would be fine. I really believe they would be absolutely fine. What we do at Safe Option Strategies is very unique in the sense that while we teach you how to fish, we keep you very well fed. Every single day, we do live presentations with our students. And if, you, if your schedule doesn't allow you to be there live, it always gets recorded. It always gets put on the website for our students. So you don't have to attend live. But every day, we do live presentations. We talk about your stocks that you're trading. We talk about your option trades. We help you fix trades that are going wrong. We tell you what to look for next in the next move of the market. We, we answer your questions every day of the week, Monday through Friday. 
We're helping our students succeed. We're not, we're, we're teaching them how to do it with or without us, but we're not expecting them to feed themselves in the process. We're keeping them well fed. We send out new trades every single week to our students. We, we send them out something after the market is closed. And we say tomorrow morning at the open, we're going to get into this trade with these strike prices and these expiration dates. And here's our target exit to get out of the trade. And here's exactly what we're going to do. If this one doesn't work and it goes against us, here's how we're going to adjust it because we're not going to take a chance on losing money. Here's how we're going to adjust it. And then if the time comes that we need to make that adjustment, we send all of our students the information. We say, okay, here's what's happened. Here's what we're doing tomorrow at the open. Here's how we're going to adjust it. One of the coolest things about this is you don't have to watch the market through the day while it's open. Some of our students have the ability to do that. Some of them have jobs. Some of them live in other time zones. Some of them can't watch the market during the day. They don't have to. We send this, we send this information out right after the market closes with the plan of what we're going to do tomorrow morning so they can set it up exactly the way we're setting it up. They can get in and they can get out at exactly the same time we're getting in and getting out. We don't just teach you how to fish. We keep you well fed in the process. All right. One smart aleck is saying, what if I don't like fish? <laughs> I love it. That's a, I, I appreciate the sense of humor. Um, what if I don't like fish? That's a good one. That's the first time someone has actually asked me this. Folks, I, I, I really believe if you give us a shot, it's the last time you're ever going to want or need to purchase any investment education because this is different. This works. It works well and it works all the time. I am so confident and I'm confident not because I'm a cocky person, not because I'm an arrogant person. I'm confident because of the success I have seen in my students. I'm confident because the people who have trusted me to do this are successful. I'm not aware of a single one of my students that is not profiting from what we're teaching them and what we're helping them do. I'm so confident that we can help you be a profitable trader in any market conditions that I give an, an unconditional money back guarantee on the cost of the program. And I will tell you this, compared to a lot of what's out there, compared to most of what's out there, this is probably the most affordable program you're ever going to see. We, we have three different programs and I'll tell you right now, probably 90% of the people that join do all three of the programs. Number one, because we make a really incredible discount offer if you do all three of them. But number two, it's smart to learn all these different strategies. You, you need to have as many, as many assets at your disposal as possible. You need to have as many bullets in your belt as you can. The collar trade program, we, we make we keep everything really simple as safe option strategies. You can do the collar trade program by itself in a one year or a lifetime membership, the spread trade program in a one year or a lifetime membership, or the cash flow trade program in a one year or a lifetime membership. If you combine any of them, we offer a discount. And if you put all three of them together, we offer a really deep discount. And if you have not already explored the website to look at our basic retail pricing, feel free to do that. But for those, only for those individuals who will email, and, and before you do this email, before you go to this one, just go to the link that's below this video on the web page that you were directed to. When, when you clicked on our little advertisement piece, you were directed to our website and right below the video that's embedded in the website, that the one you're watching right now, um, there is a link right below that that you can just put in your email address. And if you have a question, type a question in there. Um, if, if you want someone here, we will never call you or bug you if you don't request it. If you put a phone number, we will give you a call and answer any questions that you have. For those of you that are with me live, you, you maybe have not been to the website. You just came right to this recording uh, setup when it was time to do it. You can send us an email at info at safe option strategies. And for anyone who will send us that email or give us a call at this toll free number, if we don't answer, please leave a message. We always call people back and we always do it as quickly as we can. Only for those individuals who will email or call at the completion of this presentation, we will offer you a pretty deep discount over the price, you know, beyond the prices that we have listed on our website. 
and we'll give you a couple of days to to think about and decide if if that works for you and if you call or email inquiring about the prices folks it doesn't obligate you to buy our program if you're just curious about what the cost is let us know and we'll tell you but we give a pretty i i i love rewarding people who are proactive I, I really think people, any, any business you go to, the bosses like to reward the people that take initiative and are proactive. The fact that you took time out of your schedule to watch this presentation, you've already taken one very proactive step, and I appreciate the time. Do one more proactive thing, and, and I'll reward you with an offer with a pretty deep discount. Folks, I, I know to, if you trust someone enough to give them money, doesn't matter if it's $5 or $1,500 or $15,000. If you trust someone enough to give them money, you have to be able to expect something in return. You have to be able to expect a return on that money that you're paying. I, I, nothing is more important to me be, besides being a good husband and father to my family Nothing is more important to me than being an honest businessman. The people who have trusted me enough to purchase this program, to, to buy into Safe Option Strategies program at any level, I take it very seriously. I don't care if you're worth $5,000 or if you're worth $500,000 or if you're worth $5 million. If you trust me enough to purchase this program and get involved, I will do everything that I can legally do to help you be profitable. And if I cannot help you be profitable, if I cannot help you at the bare minimum get back the investment that you put into this program, I'll give you your money back. I Believe it or not, I'm, I'm more proud of the refunds I've given to people. I, I know that sounds kind of weird. The reason I'm proud of it is I can count on one hand. In 15 years of teaching people how to do this, I can count on one hand the number of times people have even asked me for a refund. I, I think in probably most of those cases, within a couple of weeks, they had a change of heart. Maybe the timing wasn't right for them to get involved in something like this. Maybe they just felt like it wasn't the right style for them. And you know what? I didn't argue with them. I said, okay, if that's what you really want to do, we'll give you your money back. I take it I take it really seriously. It may be a small amount of money to you, it may be a large amount of money to you. But I take it seriously. I treat it as though it's your I, I treat it as though the cost of the program is your life savings. And I am going to make absolutely certain you get back every penny of it and you make money in this. That is my pledge to you. If you're with me live right now, stay online. Uh, I'm going to take a break to take a drink of water. I'll be back in 30 seconds and I'll answer a, a bunch of you have typed in questions. I'm going to get to all those questions and answer them. Obviously, if you're listening to a recording, I'm going to say goodbye to you right now. And I hope you take a minute to click on the form that's below the recording, the video, and inquire about the pricing. Ask questions. I don't want anyone joining the program if I can't answer your questions to your complete satisfaction. And there's only one way I believe in answering people's questions, and that is brutally honest. Uh, any question you ask, I will answer you in, in a, the most honest way that can be answered. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.